so so many positive points about the public administration easy to understand and lots of overlap with the gs2 hello everyone welcome to plutus ias in this particular video lecture i will talk about a particular topic that is how to prepare public administration optional for upsc so basically this topic is very important because when we are starting our preparation for any optional for that matter it becomes very important that we are having clear idea about uh, how to deal with that particular subject so with regard to that today i'll talk about the public administration right so here you will see <coughs> yeah so first one is the first thing that that i'll talk about is the introduction and relevance introduction about the public administration and its relevance so here you can see public administration is very interesting subject as it is very much related to daily life right so what does it mean why i am calling it as the interesting subject because public administration is something which it comes to our daily life uh, on daily basis we can say that uh, if you uh, the municipality is providing the cleanliness facility like the cleaner uh, cleaning people are coming and uh, they are cleaning your locality definitely it is the public administration it is the municipal officers the concerned authorities that is taking care of the sanitation in your locality so definitely it is part of public administration on daily basis we are using the water water is being uh, you know uh, is being used definitely on daily basis so that is also some some or the other way is being provided by the authority so again it is you know the public administration how it is ex exactly public administration because there is a management behind there is a process behind people are involved to take care of that you are getting the timely and the clean drinking water it is not like that for two days you are not having water to drink right so all these things will be coming under the public administration any other thing also you can think of for example you are planning to travel to other city that uh, toll facility or better uh, transportation facility will be provided that is also part of public administration or any facility for that matter street lighting will be coming under the public administration it is the administration that is being provided by the concerned authority which you are enjoying so ultimately it is serving the purpose of public administration right so the introduction in the introduction itself i am highlighting it is interesting subject and it is very much related to our daily life and it deals with the action part of the government what does it mean action part the kind of examples that that i added will be coming under the action part of the government like whatever government is doing is called as the action part of the government and public administration deals with that right so this is the introduction now if you are talking about the relevance so public administration as optional in upsc is very rewarding how it is very rewarding because it is easy to understand and why it is easy to understand because i gave so many examples like it is related to our very daily life so definitely it will be easy okay then has lots of overlap with the gs syllabus and has a small syllabus right so so many positive points about the public administration easy to understand and lots of overlap with the gs 2 and 3 is small syllabus what else any aspirant will be looking for you are small syllabus is also there so that you can revise uh, before the mains examination in a very shorter duration like one month or so and also you know the overlap with the gs uh, in the coming videos i'll show you how exactly it is overlapping with that of the polity syllabus with that of the governance syllabus and the ethics syllabus right so it is very helpful 
and also about the public administration it is being said that ultimately when you will be into the services you need to deal with the administration so it is better that you are dealing with the public administration now itself so definitely those who will be opting for the public administration as the optional they will be having the edge right so these things are very clear now we'll be proceeding further so now we have the how to prepare yes right so when it comes to how to prepare so definitely like any other subject you need to study you need to give some time for that particular subject like that public administration will be also one of the subject okay so here for this particular you know the subject i have mentioned something that is you know one should uh, subject is well one should prepare the subject well when should have focus on the thinkers part as it sets the background to understand the entire subject so basically public administration i already explained with the help of example now i am highlighting that how to prepare if you want really uh, want to prepare public administration very effectively then the thinkers part is very important because uh, if you will be writing if you will be uh, writing the answers then definitely general answers you will write because already we are dealing with the public administration on daily basis right so it is not that difficult that you will not be able to write but if you want to prepare the public administration in a way where you can attract where you can fetch good marks it is very important that you are preparing the thinkers part very well why because thinkers portion is something which will be giving insight to rest of the syllabus whatever you will be dealing with the topic in public administration it will be some or the other way related to the thinkers so if you understood the idea given by some of the thinkers like 10 to 15 thinkers the main thinkers i am talking about definitely you can understand the subject well so one task that i am giving okay that prepare well and have a command over the thinkers portion and you should relate the learning with that of the things going around you with respect to administration in the country very very important point and people used to miss this so what is the meaning of one i mentioned you should focus on the thinkers two i am highlighting you should relate the things with the events going around in the uh, in the society with respect to administration for example for example uh, let's say new education policy has been brought up okay so what are the features of the new education policy how it is related to administration what are the additional responsibilities has been given to the principal of a particular school or the block development officer and how exactly you know the that particular change in the policy will be affecting the administration definitely being the public administration student you should take care of this right you should be aware of every update in the administration for example during the time of covid there were unforeseen circumstances where we need to be very active so you know so many new kind of things were added like social distancing and all so for that purpose you should relate the thing that how it is related to public administration like for example for example meaning of public administration is to bring about the welfare of the people okay and when i am calling it as the welfare of the people it is very subjective very very subjective we cannot say certainly that this is if government will be doing this kind of thing then this will be called as welfare no welfare is very subjective right some some day people will be asking for you know uh, to go abroad to enjoy their holidays it is the duty of the state to provide the facilities where they can enjoy right the foreign trip so it is very subjective so that's why i am highlighting that whatever is going around you the climate is change conditions 
you should relate how it will be useful for me for my subject then only you will be able to write good answers this is one now the next after how to prepare now we will talk about the study material and uh, books resources right so here i have mentioned the administrative thinkers i already mentioned thinkers portion is very important so first of all this book is there prashad and prashad so this is very very important book every public administration student should read this book for sure this book should be read uh, read then we have the new horizons of public administration by mohit bhattacharya and then we have the public administration and public affairs by nicolas henry very important book very good book i should say and then we have the public administration by fadia and fadia and then the last but not the least it is very very important that we are referring to the government reports for example second arc for example law commission of india for example election commission of india any reports that are coming you should refer to those reports over a period of time in my classes i used to provide the notes of these reports and then various journals are coming for example the american society of public administration will be releasing the general that general should be referred so that you will be giving new uh, you will be you know getting new insights about the subject and then we have magazines then we have the newspaper very very important because when the public administration is dealing with the very welfare of the people then definitely in newspaper new initiative taken by the government for the welfare of the people will be uh, coming on daily basis so you should be updated if you will be updated you will be in a very good position to write good answers so it is very important that you are referring to newspaper magazines and making yourself updated now we have the yeah next so it is about the time management and study plan so time management and the study plan here you can see time management and study plan so for the public administration optional i would say that in to start with there should be 3 4 hours of time per day right and then we should have a weekly revision plan generally this is being missed by students but it is very important because you know connectivity is very important uh, in a peri any optional subject and also specific specifically i'm talking about the public administration so it is very important that you are regularly studying and also you have definite revision plan it will be helping you in understanding the subject well now we have the next that is exam format very important to understand so quickly i'll explain this so exam format so all this is written here what exactly we have is that we have two papers in every optional and also in public administration pa and two uh, two papers will be there and every paper will be divided into two sections okay section a and section b every section will be consisting of the four questions then so uh, section a consist of 1 to 4 and then section b will be 5 to 8 so the first question of every section will be compulsory in nature like you have to attend uh, attempt the question right and out of the given uh, the questions you will be having the options to attempt okay so total eight questions in a paper and first question will be compulsory and the first question will be having five parts each part will be consisting of 10 marks right and the rest of the questions will be having three parts okay and the first part will be consisting of how much 20 marks second part 15 marks right and then third part is also consisting of 15 marks so it will be like uh, you know the part a sorry so suppose this is the paper 1 right this is paper 1 so section 1 a will be like question 1 it will be having a b c d e each consisting of 10 marks then we will have the question 2 that will be having a b c 
and this will be of 20 marks this will be of 15 marks and this will be of 15 marks right and similarly the section b will be there and similar pattern will be there all the uh, except for the first question all the questions will be in this format that first part 20 marks second 15 and third 15 also right so this is the format of the question right then in this particular questions like the first question specifically they are asking the short answers right so definitely in short answers more information will be required more factual information will be required but when it comes to the 20 markers and the 15 markers analysis will be required okay so this is the format and the different types of questions so there will be 10 markers 15 markers and 20 markers and there is different approach to deal with those questions okay as i mentioned in the short uh, answer question there will be need for more factual information in 20 and 15 markers there will be need for analysis right so i think uh, i hope this is very clear moving further so the now the very common thing very important thing that is a student make some common mistakes so under the common mistakes what i have mentioned is they do not revise okay and they do not relate they do not revise the subject this is the most common mistake that a student do it happens with gs also but specifically in you know the optional it happens like people are not revising and people are not relating the things with that of you know the uh, current affairs going around or the any you know the new updates that are coming so it is very very important that you are revising the things and updating yourself relating the things with that of you know the other subjects of gs and the current affairs it is very very important if you will be doing this you will be very enriched your preparation will be very enriched and you will be in a comfortable position to write answers okay now the next is yeah so this is the last thing so here you can see integrate optional subject preparation with that of gs preparation so definitely it is un, uh, in the continuation of the last point that is uh, we are not relating the things so i request everyone to if you really want to prepare public administration in a very good manner then definitely you should integrate the uh, public administration subject with that of the optional it will be helping you particularly in the polity particularly in the uh, governance and in the ethics paper if you will be relating the things for example you are reading the types of authorities and you know the leadership in this particular public administration optional then if you will be relating this thing with that of the ethics paper it will be giving you very very good insight to write the ethics answers also and it will be definitely helping the in preparing the public administration so it is very important that the you are relating the subject integrating optional with the gs paper important thing that every student should focus on uh, as it can minimize your effort significantly also optional answer can be enriched, enriched through this because you know if you will be integrating so you will be getting so many you know insights from gs also so it it will be working both ways like optional will be helping gs and gs will be helping optional and everything is very integrated so all of us should be very very serious about this point should be very you know uh, take this thing very seriously that we are studying in a very integrated manner right so this is all about how to prepare for public administration optional in upsc we will be meeting in the next video thank you